Hi everyone! Today I'll be talking about camera movement and figuring out which graphs to use for your scene. Since we're just talking about the shape of graphs, this can be applied to any program. For video star people, I'll provide QR codes for you guys. First off, this video might not cover every single scenario and it might not get exactly what you need since camera movement can be very specific and different with each scene. This list is based on how I usually do my camera movement and what graphs I use the most. If you have a specific idea in mind, feel free to DM me on Instagram and I can help you personally there. The first option is to actually not edit your graph and just leave it as that regular smooth curve. To get this graph on After Effects, just make sure that your keyframes are easy eased. On Cinema, your graph will automatically be a smooth curve, so you don't have to do anything. This graph can be used for intros, like when you're panning from one side of a room to another, or when you're coming closer to something, or moving away from something, or rotating from one side of a room to another, and so on. Since it's an intro, it doesn't need to be all flashy and fast. Here are some examples from my edits. However, this doesn't mean you should only use this graph for intros. If you're doing an edit that's not all beats heavy and flashy, you can use this graph too. Here's an example. This is our second graph. I like using this when I want to go from one place to another, or when I want to change from one angle to another. For example, if you want to change the angle on each beat, you can use this graph between your keyframes. You can make the graph sharper if you want to change angles really fast like in this edit. Or you can make it softer if you want to kind of pause on each angle like this. This is our third graph. It's a bit harder to explain the type of scene that you would use this for, but basically the way that the graph is structured, there is an out graph at the very beginning to transition out of your last clip, and an in graph at the very end to transition into the next clip. In the middle of the clip, there's a bit of a pause and it'll focus on one area, but the camera never stops moving, so it's still smooth. Here's an example of how it looks. I think the best way to use this is if you're moving from the very left side of a room to the very right side of the room, like in the example that I showed. These are the three main shapes that I use for my graphs when doing my camera movement. When I'm ready to add graphs to my keyframes, I'll start with one of these three basic shapes, then I'll preview the clip and see if I need to adjust the graph to make it slower, smoother, or faster. 
I'm sorry that I had to make this video kind of generalized since, again, camera movement can be very specific and different with each scene. If you want more specific examples of how I do my camera movements, I have a bunch of videos throughout my channel where you can observe how I keyframe the scene and added the graphs. But I hope you still found this video helpful in one way or another, and thank you for watching.